Well, when I go home, sometimes uh, this is my hand. And if I run my hand across wood, there's what's called the grain. And then there's going against the grain. If you go against the grain, uh, sometimes you'll notice on your hand, you'll get a sliver uh, on a piece of wood. And in life, uh, another time where you experience something like this is you can uh, go kayaking or canoeing. If you canoe down a, a stream, you go downstream. It's very easy. You almost don't have to paddle. The water carries you. But going upstream is a lot of work. And it is very, very, very difficult to go upstream. It's kind of like going against the grain. There's times in life where uh, God wants you to go with the grain. Uh, and we, we can tend to go up or make things more difficult. One of the things that I've been looking at is grace. The Bible says there's seven characteristics of God. One of the characteristics is uh, God is grace. It's interesting. That's what he is. God is light. He's love. Uh, he's power. He, and one of the other things is he's grace, mercy, and loving kindness. All these things essentially make up who God is. One thing is he is grace. Grace means it's something that God gives you that's totally nothing you've done. There are things in our Christian walk or faith, even things that can be supernatural, that we have to receive God's grace. It's not that you have to do it and there's nothing you can do to earn it. It's just God gives it to you. And you notice some people make things uh, at times too easy. There's other times where they make it more difficult. So you do have to at times realize there's things about God that he wants uh, you know, you in your mind to realize, I just have to not just accept this from God in my mind, but in my heart. And that's the hard part. There will be times or things that God wants you to accept in your heart from him that you can't earn or you can't do, or you just have to give it to the Lord. And that does take a pivot uh, so I want to just say this, it's kind of a funny little phrase, but, uh, give it and pivot, give it to the Lord and then pivot in your heart. And you're just like, okay, it's not just that I don't maybe understand something, but I, I would have thought I would have had to have done more, but I just have to receive, I have to receive this in my life. I have to have something recede in me, uh, to think, well, I've got to do this or I deserve it or Sometimes it can be like, okay, well, I, I should get this because I'm trying hard. Whatever it is, we could put our own experience in there. But grace is the thing. And uh, it's not just that God gives it to you in grace. This is the point. God is grace. So there's times where you will have a feeling when you're dealing with God that it's just, it can be very subtle but your mind cannot realize, okay, I have to, to get somewhere with God. I have to let him just give this to me. It's who he is. So you can't, there's no way around it. Your interaction with him, uh, it's not about deserving or this, or that. It's not like thinking this through. You, there's a literal interaction that when God, you know, he's giving you something that will stay in your life, he is grace. So it's nothing you'll deserve. Uh, to have, it's just like the only way to get it is by receiving it that way because that's what he is. And that's very interesting. That's how he, it's not just how he works, but it's who the Bible has said he is. And that is exciting because it can be very, uh, look very daunting to us to make a difference in the world. How do I receive what I need from the Lord? Often it is given, uh, not just in a way in grace, but that's who he is. So when you're interacting with the Lord, don't just try and fight for something, just uh, receive it. Um, you know, believe it, yes, but also receive it in grace, if that makes any sense. Hopefully that's helpful, you, helpful for your fight today. Sometimes you don't need to fight, you just need to receive the help from the Lord in Jesus' name, amen.